I ain't gonna fuck with it, man. It got pop ups and shit. Look, what it do, man? It's your boy Key Twenty. This is Hood Motherfucking Radio. You dig? And I'm sitting here with my nigga Levi. Yeah, yeah, Levi the comedian in the building, representing the Dream Team of Comedy, Chicago's finest. What's up, man? Hey, man. So tell them where you from, man. I mean, I know I be, I know I just pulled you on here randomly as fuck. Right, right. You know what right, I mean? Right. Spur the moment on, damn near. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you had to, I had you waiting outside and shit. We started late. My bad, but. And that's life, man. That's life. Exactly. Know, but good things some, come to those who wait. There you go. And that's then that's that's actually something people that's not in this industry don't know nothing about. Indeed. Also, real shit. A lot of people, a lot of people be like, "Oh man, I gotta wait." Nah, I ain't trying to wait. I'm trying to do what I want to do right now. But no, I guarantee you, you gonna wait two weeks for that check though. Exactly. You talking about? Yeah, you hey, wait for everything. As a matter of fact, it's tax season. A lot of you niggas just got y'all W two, so y'all gonna wait. <laughs> y'all gonna wait till March or April to get Man, that check. And a lot of y'all niggas got y'all W twos gonna wait for March or April, and the government gonna snatch your shit because you exactly. owe money. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You owe like four bands. You hey, was only getting life. two back. All my life, you 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 you. you Got too much on link, nigga. You gotta pay them back now, nigga. Nah, but man, I'm from uh, I'm from the South Suburbs. I was originally born and raised in Harvey. Oh, shout out to Harvey. Harvey World. I was just living in Riverdale. Hey, turn up. You know what I'm saying? 145th and Dearborn. You know what I'm saying? Things out there know me from 2002 on down. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but uh, I moved from Harvey. We moved from Harvey to South Holland. I lived in South Holland. I went to Thorn Ridge High School. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Falcons. Look, look. Shout out to all y'all dirty birds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, uh, man, you know, now I'm just, now for some reason, I live on the east side. So, Damn. I guess I'm east so, side crazy. Wait, so how is that How is that living over east? I mean, I know how it used to be living over east. That shit, always, to me, that shit's always been crazy. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. It was more organized back in right. the day. I mean, well, for me, personally, right. it, it, I don't, it, it, don't, it, right. yeah, it don't bother me because I don't, I don't really go the fuck outside. Right, I, well, I, true that. Oh, I'm just saying because, like, you know what I'm saying? 71st South Shore. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Uh, all through that bitch down South Shore. Like oh, yeah, South, South Shore day. always been live. And then especially nowadays, you know, you got you got uh, everything going crazy on 79th and Exchange. So, you know. Boy, I thought I thought back in the day the 79th and Racine was crazy back 79th then. 79th is crazy no matter where you at. I think I stayed right on. I, okay, I used to stay on 79th and Greenwood. Down the okay. street from Happy's. Right. 82nd and Drexel. Right. I stayed on 77 and Chappelle, 72nd and Yay, 63rd and Bishop. I mean, I can uh, just you name stay out. Yeah, you yeah, stay all over everywhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, and that's just the south side. I ain't even talk about the north side or the west side. You know what I mean? I ain't never lived north. Um, okay. I, I can't I can't say, I can say that I lived west, but right. I never had a, like a real residence west. Right, right, right. right it's just right. that all my homies that live out west, they kind of embrace me. Right. And whenever I needed to get away from anything, I just go to the west side. I go chill with my people on the west side. I'd be out there for like two, three weeks at a time. I turn my phone off. Okay. So this is a question I have since you're a south sider. You okay. Because I, mean? I, I, I can't say I'm a south sider, north sider, west sider. Because yeah, I've been all I've been over, everywhere. And, right? I, and I'm from New Orleans. You know what yeah, I mean? I'm a south, well, you a south sider. Well, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm <laughs> from the south. You know what I mean? Uh, but as far as south side of Chicago, um, I, so how do, how do you view the west side and the north side? I mean, personally, like, I, I can't really speak on the north side because I haven't spent, yeah, really. I, yeah, I don't really go up there, I don't know nobody up there, I ain't got no reason to go up north, right, but the west side, man, I love the west side, yeah. you know what I'm saying, oh, like, yeah. I, I love the west side for the simple fact that it's all about the hustle on the west side, like, the west side is all about the hustle, if you ain't fucking up nobody money, they don't care what you're doing. There you, you, go. you come out there, you can smash chicks. You can come out there, you can buy clothes. As long as you ain't messing with nobody money, you good. They, yeah, they ain't bothering you. Well, it, you know what? And I can honestly say it used to be like that a lot everywhere I was. It's only like that in certain places now, nowadays. Because now, like, you, you keep, nigga. Try and go in front of Uncle Remus, nigga. Like, them First, I, you, I don't even want to walk in there. If you catch me, if you catch me in front of an Uncle Remus, I'm probably standing out there selling heralds. Real shit. Right, Real shit. No, nobody has to suffer through that Uncle Remus tragedy. I'm sorry, man. Uncle Remus is good. No, it's man. not. Yes, no, it is. no, it's I'm not. With Uncle Remus. Uh, Uncle Remus is like heralds. If heralds was like just, if heralds was just doing bad dope. That's what Uncle Remus is. Yeah, like, if Harold's was doing bad dope, it would be Uncle what? Remus. I can honestly say, though, I have to search for a good Harold's. 
Like, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. like you have to know which one yeah. is the shit. But at mm-hmm. least you know that there's one that's good. There isn't a good Uncle Remus. Oh, no. There isn't one. No, they, they actually, they, and look, there's agree. actually an Uncle Remus <laughs> on the south side, on the low really? end, on, uh, on 47, like right off Cottage. Damn, it's still that. terrible. Damn, it's still terrible. Kind of yeah, it's, it's like right off. It's still terrible. I would never go to that one. Yeah, it's still terrible. But I, I usually go to the one on Central and Madison. They're all that terrible. One's, that one's been good. It's to still me. terrible. It's been good. It's to me. terrible. It's not, <laughs> not, it's what is not, it? The flavor? It's, not, it's just. It's, it's just not the same. Yeah, it's not. The same. It's not your South Side. Harold's. Yeah, it's it's, not, you know what? Harold's okay, is South Check side. it out. Check it out. Check it out. When I lived in Riverdale, when I lived on the South Side, nigga, Harold's. I went, I went to Harold's every day. Like, not only that, but they, they be killing on the prices. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like also, and then they had a daily special. And then Uncle Remus mild sauce ain't even mild sauce. That no, it's shit, not. I do know that. That's that like, like sweet sauce. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's shit weird as hell. Like, no, it, it's different. You know what I mean? It's, it's like seeing the chick. At, Uncle Remus is like seeing the chick at the club that's bad as hell. Yeah. And then you wake up in the morning. And you next to Wanda from In Living Color. Like, that's, that's what Uncle Remus is. Dang. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Uncle Remus. Shout dude. out to Uncle Remus, bro. <laughs> if y'all want to give me a goddamn sponsorship, I, I rock with it. But we will mess with it. Bro. I'm eating Harold's in all y'all commercials. <laughs> I just want y'all to know. Hey, just so y'all know, we keeping it fresh and funky over here. Look, so I'm going to get into the mix. We're going to play some real local hot music and the thing about it is i like to say that every rip especially the people that just come on because when i say we about to play local music some people not all people but some people be like oh it's not top 40 but actually it's a lot better than whatever it's a lot better than what's on the radio it's it's a lot better and it's real and it's not especially if it's chicago man and we we know these people we have such a, a unique sound we have such a our sound is just so much different than everybody else's, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, man, the, the whole trap music thing became a thing because of drill music. Because of drill, right. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. the drill music wave started, and then that's when the that's trap, when the trap music started, wave yeah. got high. But you know what? The thing is, because I'm not I, saying that's when it started. No, 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 no. trap music right. always been around. Trap music has been around. I, I blame I Lil John for that shit. No, well, and trap music was around before that. They used to call it, it started off as Jungle. That's how it all started. That's, it. that's, that's some... That's, that's some deep... Because, yeah. okay... Because you're from the South, so well, you know that shit. Well, because this is how it started. What? Wait, first of all... <laughs> first of all... How you come from Second Lines? <laughs> look... <laughs> you, you, talk, you talk about jungle and trap. Well, look, because I've always been in the music since I've been in Chicago. You know what I mean? I started off as a DJ at a youth center. Uh, I, was, I was actually one of the DJs from GCI trained me back in the day um, okay. at the youth center and I didn't and back then I didn't know I was going to get into radio like that mm. uh, and then like the next year is when I met Elroy you know what I mean and so it, that's, it just all merged together like that you know what I mean um, but it went from I know this for a fact only because I was so infatuated with Chicago when I got here with, with footwork Ah, you feel me? Okay. Because with down New Orleans at the time, we do we did what was called. By the way, Chicago is the best uh, footworking city ever. Fuck Detroit. I I thought Chicago was the only footworking no, city. No, no. Detroit there's, be there, trying? There's a competition every year between Chicago and Detroit for footwork. I, I swear. I but no, I believe it. But I swear, I, it's footworking crazy. and stepping. Footworking and stepping. You know, I can see that because a lot of people from Detroit are from Chicago. A lot of it's people, not even that. It's the this. I'm just saying. It's like it's the Detroit natives, the people, that's weird. the people never even been to fucking Chicago. That's weird. Yeah, as hell. it's it's a it's a competition. What's up it's, with that? It's Chicago, Detroit, and I believe St. Louis. I believe St. Louis. Okay, is a part I, I, of that too. I got something to say. Um, I'm sorry, but um, St. Louis, chill out. You know what I mean? You don't know whether you want to be Midwest or Southern. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Let's be, let's let's keep it. Besides keep the it fact real. that St. Louis ain't had a star since Nellyville, since let's Nelly, just, since just, Nellyville. Let's just you put know what that mean? out there. And then last time I went out there, can you believe I could not find no weed at all in St. Louis? Not one. I could believe it. Now, I, all they had was crack. That sounds about right. All my life, and I didn't believe him. And that that sounds why See, that sounds not. about the reason why Nelly could still drop an album and sell a million records. Real, <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God. Look, because I went down there, I because I, I used to stay in Champagne. <clears throat> mm. 
And so we used to go over there like constantly, right? From because uh, I heard that's it was like, like two hours from Champagne. Yeah, so, yeah. So it's like so it's like East St. Louis and then St. Louis. Louis you feel right. me? So I, I I migrated from East. I saw East St. Louis and I'm like, damn, this is fun. You know what I mean? This is cool people laid back. East St. Louis is still Illinois, by the way. It that's, is. It is. Still it Illinois. is. It's just East of St. Louis. It is, yeah. You know what I mean? Just, yeah. <laughs> it's just but, on the other side. Uh, and I never got why they call it East St. Louis. I they mean, don't act the same at it's all. It's just like we got East Chicago. That's true. And that's it. Indiana. Indiana. Right. I'm like, man, that's we, crazy. We don't, we don't claim them, though. Yeah, well, no, 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 no. I, don't, I don't claim them. I don't, I don't. East Chicago. It's, it's the east side of Chicago. That's, that's like, that's like, you just, you just, you, man, that, that's like, a, East Chicago is like where you go if you're trying to get off some dope, man. Basically. Like, real stuff. Real. But I want to, real quick, before we go into the music, man, um, Man, what you got coming up? And we're going to revisit that again so we can let people know again and again. But this whole show is your promo. You oh, know yeah. I mean? Well, um, so what you got coming up, my nigga? What man. do I have coming up? What the don't first you thing, have coming up? The first thing, right. <laughs> um, the first thing I got coming up is Super Bowl Sunday. Okay. Uh, one of my teams, the Gents. Um, we just uh, we are, we are a group of of gentlemen, a group of men who got together and decided we want to do something different for our area and for our neighborhood. So we're having a Super Bowl party, Super Bowl Sunday, and also Super Bowl Sunday. I will be at Tilly's Pitten Pub in Calumet City, mm. getting my jokes on, getting my jokes on. Yes, I might yes. have to come check you out there. Yes, yes. Showtime is I'll at nine p.m. It's a five dollar cover charge. Oh. Is it is started is started by ran by and hosted by my big sister in comedy Miss Corey Bell. So she Corey is, Bell, Corey, that's a, that's she a is legend, super man. hilarious. That's, like, I know that name, she, man, because I know she's Corey a, Bell. she's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, 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 everywhere. Yeah, I know that name. She's everywhere. So make sure every she does she does it every Sunday. Every Sunday at okay. Tilly's, there's comedy happening. Hosted by Corey Bell at Chili's at, at Tilly's at Tilly's Tilly's. I thought you I, not I was, Chili's. I was gonna say the other night when I was on the phone. I thought you said Chili's. I'm like they no. doing comedy at Chili's. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I gotta uh, get over that. Hey, let me get a two for twenty in them jokes. <laughs> no, it's at Tilly's Tilly's okay, Pitten Pit Pub in Calumet Pit City. Pit it's right across the street from River Oaks Mall. It's right across go. the street from Denny's. Right, you know, I know yeah, uh, know I, I can't. On the strip. Yeah, it's, it's off Torrance. Right, right. That's, yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> hey, if you ain't ever been out there, just get off on Torrance, man. Yeah, and. Uh, Go back west. Don't head east. Because if you head east, you're going to go No, I think way. it is. I, it's think way, it, I think you got to go back west. So. Oh, no, it is east, is it? Yeah. It's it towards is. state line then. No, yeah, no, 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 no. If, if you get off the expressway, you get off the expressway on 159th. There you going go. east. There you yeah. go. There you get go. off on the expressway on 159th going east. Yeah. 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 And then when you get to Torrance, you make a right. Or okay. you get off on 167th. Right. Going. Uh, you get off on Torrance. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But Yeah. Get off on Torrance. Oh, yeah, it is. If you get right? off on Torrance, it's Torrance West. West, right. Because right. if you go east. You right. Go, it's Torrance yeah. West. And then you make that uh, left at the light. There you go. And then also February, Sunday, February 11th, the Dream Team of Comedy and Creep Life Comedy presents the first annual pre-Valentine's Day comedy show. Mm. It's uh, hosted by the very funny Lisa Laird. We okay. got uh, we got my big homie Ty Law, who's been all over the United States killing the comedy game. I got my homegirl, uh, spoken word artist, Queen Speaks, who she's a, a young lady who I've known since I've been in seventh grade. Mm. And she's she's Longevity. she's always been awesome with words, awesome. and she's coming to, to bless the mic with her words. Um, awesome. I also have um, OJ Lamont. If y'all don't know who he is, that's Mister. I'm finna bake your ass. Yeah, he coming through. He gonna be oh, there. Oh, y'all better y'all better grab him. Too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then of course it's my team, the Dream Team of Comedy. Is uh is there's normally five of us, okay. but on this show there will only be four of us because one of us has a prior booking, okay, and he couldn't he couldn't give us a schedule yeah, conflict, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And but so, that's good though because yeah, oh, yeah. at least it's a scheduling conflict and, oh, yeah. and not a oh, yeah. no schedule conflict. Exactly, <laughs> no, I don't have a schedule. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? So it's uh it's, it's my big sister Shamika Family, okay. my big brother Mike Hatchet, my big brother comedian B Wright. And then it's me, Levi, the comedian. And then our headliner for the night is the very funny, you've seen his brother all over TV, Damn Fool. So, yes, it's going to be dope. You can find the event. 
You can find the tickets for the event on Eventbrite, www.eventbrite.com slash first annual pre-Valentine's Day show. The tickets are $15 on Eventbrite. I also have tickets. Any of the, uh, any of the members of the Dream Team, we all have tickets.